everyone. Welcome to another episode of Coding Bites. I am Rachel, an educator at Coding Lab. Nice to meet you. In today's episode, we're going to cover some key computer skills such as how to maintain a good sitting posture, learn some typing skills, and tips and tricks on how to use the computer mouse efficiently. So are you ready? Let's go. It is very important to maintain a good sitting posture while using the computer. Can you spot what is wrong with this person's sitting posture? Pause the video and see if you can spot them. The back is hunched, the neck is strained, their arms are bent sideways, they are crossing their legs. Let me show you the right way you should be sitting when using the computer. When you sit down, ensure your back is straightened, the chair facing the computer screen. Make sure that the computer screen is at eye level so you would not strain the neck. Both arms should be rested on the table in an L-shaped form, like this. And lastly, the legs should be down on the ground, so no crossing of the legs and ankles. And this is how you sit properly. There you go. Now we are ready to begin our work at the computer. Let's learn all about the computer mouse. The mouse is used to choose the things we view on the computer screen. There are three main parts to the computer mouse. The left click, the right click, the mouse wheel. Left click is used to click, choose or drag items on the screen. The right click shows us a menu that will let us choose more options, such as delete, add, duplicate, undo, and many more. The mouse wheel helps us view the things on the screen when we scroll the wheel up and down. Try it with me. To use the mouse properly, place your palm on the curved part with your left finger on the left click middle finger on the mouse wheel and the right finger on the right click. Move it around with your arm and remember not to bend your wrist. But did you know we have a trackpad over here and it works just like the computer mouse. We have the left click, the right click and a scroll area. You move your finger on the scroll area to move the mouse around. Time for our mini quiz. Here we have a picture of the mouse and the trackpad. Pause this video for a little bit and try filling in the blanks with the helping words. Once you're done, continue the video and check your answers to see if you've got them right. Well, did you do for the mini quiz? Got all the answers right? That's great! Now, time for a fun clicking game to practice our left clicking speed. Pop, pop, pop! In this mouse clicker game, you are to use the mouse with your hand. Pop as many balloons as you can. Move the mouse onto the balloon. Aim and press onto the left click. Pause this video and click on the link in the description below and try out the game. Welcome back. Did you have fun with the game? Let us know your high score in the comment section below.
Next, we have the keyboard. The keyboard is for typing in letters, words and numbers into the computer. Let's explore the keyboard keys row by row. First, we have the home row keys where we place our fingers on to type. The home row keys have A, S, D, F, J, K, L and the semicolon. Next, we have the top row keys. Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O and P. Lastly, we have the bottom row keys Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, comma, period, and slash. The long bar below is called the space key. Pause the video and try to find the different keys on your keyboard. Welcome back. Now let's learn how to place our fingers on the keyboard. The four left fingers are placed on A, S, D, F, while the four right fingers are placed on J, K, L, and the semicolon. The two thumbs are in charge of pressing the space bar. Do you remember the home row, top row, and the bottom row? The left hand is in charge of pressing the left side of these rows, while the right hand is in charge of pressing the right side of the rows. Now, pause the video and try placing your fingers on the correct keys. Now, let's practice our typing with a fun tutorial game. Look at your hands and try to remember the finger positions used on the keyboard. When you are prepared, press X and click on the button now that it's time for some practice. There are a total of five levels to help you understand more about the keyboard. Home row, top row, bottom row, all rows, and special characters. Let's take a look at level one, home row. This tutorial tells you where to position your fingers correctly on the home row keys. Put your fingers down and press space bar to start playing. Characters would start coming out from the bottom and you have to press them correctly to gain a score. Look at the top right corner to see how much scores you've gained and the top left corner to see how much time is left till the game ends. Pause this video, click on the link in the description below and give this game a try. Welcome back. Did you have fun with the typing game? Leave your scores in the comment section below. Hooray! Now that you have sufficient practice, are you ready for a challenge? Let's play a fun typing game and see how fast you can complete it. Look for the link in the description below, pause this video and try it out. Get ready to work those fingers. There you go. You have now mastered how to use the mouse and the keyboard. Click back to any of the games you've tried today to practice further. Let's practice, practice, practice. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something with me today. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and click subscribe for more coding bites. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.